Maryland's Missing and the Murdered is a weekly YouTube channel that covers the topic of missing and or mur murdered individuals from the state of Maryland. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified when the next cases are released. Any updates to cases will be pinned in the comments section of each video. April Hurley had a basement room in Baltimore, Maryland. On September 19, 2023, she heard a man knocking on her door, announcing that it was maintenance and that there was a flood in the kitchen. She went upstairs and was grabbed by the maintenance man who held her at gunpoint. The maintenance man was Jason Billingsley. She was told not to speak or he would kill her. He wanted money and they went down into her basement room where her friend, John Tay Gilmore, was sleeping. The man handcuffed Hurley and then he taped both her and Gilmore's mouths and eyes shut. April was then sexually assaulted and strangled for the next several hours. When April would fight back, he would slice her neck with a knife, so she played dead. Billingsley eventually removed the handcuffs and the tape. He poured gas all over the room, set Hurley and Gilmore on fire, and left. Hurley knocked out a boarded window, and she and Gilmore escaped. A few days later, on September 25th, 2023, 26-year-old Pavel LaPere was reported missing. Pavel was a tech CEO to Ecomac Tech, which she founded while she was a student at Johns Hopkins University. In 2023, Forbes named her one of the 30 under 30 to watch. When police went to LaPere's apartment in downtown Baltimore, they began to search her building, which had its own security team. The police found Pava LaPere on the roof. She was found there with blunt force trauma to her head and partially clothed. Medical examiner determined that she had been strangled and hit in the head with a brick. Also determined was the time of her death three days prior on September 22nd. Police began to review all the surveillance footage from the apartment building. On September 22nd at 11.32 p.m., LaPere was seen entering her building. She was sitting on the couch in the lobby and then seen getting up to let a man in as he was on the front steps and waving to LaPere to let him into the building. LaPere and the man walked to the elevator together. Almost 30 minutes later, the man was seen leaving a stairwell with his shirt on his hand. He then left the building. On September 26, a witness from the building identified the man as being Jason Billingsley. The manhunt was on for Billingsley. The police announced that Billingsley was also the suspect in Hurley and Gilmore's attack. Police called Billingsley, quote, extremely dangerous and that he will kill and he will rape, end quote. It was revealed that Jason's Billingsley, 32-year-old, pled guilty to assault in 2009, guilty to assault in 2011, and then he was found guilty in a sexual assault in 2015. He was sentenced to 30 years for the sexual assault, so why was he out of jail? He was released in October 2022 on supervision and he was added to the sex offender registry due to the fact that his sentence was reduced due to good conduct in jail. On September 27th, Billingsley was arrested at a Bowie, Maryland train station at 11 p.m. Details of that arrest was not given until later. Here's a video of him at the train station.
In the charging documents at Pavel Appare's crime scene was the brick covered in blood, buttons, pants, three teeth, a broken hair clip, and red shoes. On September 29th, Billingsley was denied bail. On a podcast released on October 6, 2023, Billings, Billingsley's sister, Jasmine, spoke out. She stated that all of her siblings were raised by different foster families. She noted that Jason was sexually abused and that she thought Jason played a part in their oldest brother's death. Jasmine also revealed that she cut ties with her mother because she defends Jason's actions. It was announced on January 16, 2024, that Maryland Governor Wes Moore planned to back legislation to restrict sex offenders from earning good conduct sentence reductions in response to LaPere's murder. Baltimore State's attorney Ivan Bates was also supporting the law. On February 6, 2024, Ivan Bates and LaPere's family was in front of the House of Delegates to hear testimony to allow the Pava Marie LaPere Act to be put into law. The law states that anyone in prison for first-degree sex assault or rape would be unable to obtain time-reducing credits. The law was passed and goes into effect on October 1, 2024. On August 26, 2024, Jason Billingsley pled guilty to the attack on April Hurley and John T. Gilmore. He was sentenced to life in prison. April Hurley was there to face her monster. She is healing. In a Baltimore Banner article, it was revealed that Jason's older sister, Justine, was the one who called police about Jason's whereabouts. In 2013, Jason had told Justine that he did not sexually assault the woman that he went to jail for. The police came to arrest him for that crime on July 11, 2013, and he pled guilty. Jason was in the third year of his sentence when he confessed to Christine Justine that he actually did assault the woman. While in jail, Jason swore to Justine that he wanted to go on the straight and narrow to get a job, continue therapy, and continue his education. When he was released in October 2022, he moved in with his girlfriend. His girlfriend eventually kicked him out for cheating. Jason and Justine had a falling out over it, but their mom kept Justine in the loop. Their mom told her that Jason was back on drugs and they had tried to help him to no avail. In September 2023, Justine's cousin called her crying, quote, Jason had killed someone, end quote. Justine couldn't believe it, but she admitted to herself that she really didn't know her brother after all. Justine asked her mother to have Jason call her. When Jason eventually called, he admitted that he killed Pavel LaPere, but did not know why. Justine called the police to tell him to tell them that Jason had called her. Jason called Justine again and stated that he was at a metro station to board a marked train in order to flee the state. Jason asked Justine to meet him at Bowie, Bowie State University for a hug goodbye. Justine was worried that he would hurt her, and when she asked him, he was upset that Justine would think of him that way. Justine went to a 7-Eleven to get money out of the ATM for Jason, but the ATM was broken. She drove to Bowie State, and when she got there, she asked him what had happened. Jason told her a bunch of lies, which she knew were lies. And then Justine told Jason she would be back so she could go to another ATM. Justine left and called police. Jason kept calling her, stating he was waiting for the money. As U.S. Marshals arrived at the metro station, just Jason Billingsley was arrested. It was revealed in August 2024 that Jason called Justine from jail. He told her he was pleading guilty to everything, and he acted like 20 years in jail was nothing. Justine got angry and told him that her and Jasmine were writing him off, that he broke a woman and he took someone's child. Jason began to cry on the phone. On August 30th, 2024, Jason Billingsley pled guilty to murdering Pavel LaPere as part of a plea deal. Justine went to the sentencing, and when Jason walked past her, he mouthed the words, Hey, sis. 
Judge Taylor sentenced him to life in prison, stating, quote, I try not to judge people by their worst acts, but no one in any community, in my opinion, will be safe as long as you are free, end quote. Jason Billingsley made a statement afterwards saying, quote, I hold myself fully accountable. I'm very remorseful, end quote. In response to that statement, a man was removed from the courtroom after shouting to Billingsley, quote, that's bold, end quote. Thank you for joining me this week. If there's a Maryland's Missing or Murder case you'd like to see on this channel, email me at marylandsmissing at gmail.com. My ex account is Maryland's Eminem. Music is by Silent Vengeance. Sources will be listed in the outro. See you again next week. Be kind to one another. You never know what will happen tomorrow.